Antonia's condition is getting worse. I knew it would come to this. The petrification disease locks people inside a cage, inside their own bodies. We're all safe, thanks to her sacrifice. But I wish for a miracle to save everyone. Me as well. I'll use my power to help you. Master Vanini, even priceless. Master Vanini carefully curated this collection box himself. With it, you have returned to us what was stolen. You have our gratitude. The House of Vanini always keeps a few special items in the private reserve, sir. Only for our more discerning patrons, of course. The house of Anini, even priceless things have. Ah, I heard you defeated the King of Puppets. Amazing. Ah, the Puppets appear lost without their leader. They have no purpose, no focus. To think one can have so much control through ergo waves. If we don't determine who or what is causing it, this could all happen again tomorrow. I fear I must call upon you again, my friend. Please gather records of the puppet's ergo waves while you're defeating them. I always welcome friends. I always well. way around a weapon.
It's you. Come closer, won't you? When you reach a certain age, it's a comfort to reflect on old memories. That's a portrait of me when I was young. <laughs> I was so feisty, so fearless back then. I loved the world, and the world loved me back. The passion of those days is long gone, but I still dream of those memories. I'm curious what your young eyes see. Is there any resemblance between me and that portrait? Do I still have a <laughs> it seems Gepetto even taught you good manners. Yes, those beautiful memories are still vivid in my mind. Time. Time and the memories that fill it are all we have. I hope you're making some good memories of your own. It may be a comfort to you someday. People have no idea. Thanks for keeping me coming. A great weapon calls for a great... Stalker, please.
Welcome, good sir. At last, we speak frankly instead of with professional reserve. I have something to confess. Something involving your unique perspective. I am a puppet whose ego has awoken. I don't know exactly why, and we need not dwell on the details. Instead, I wish to dwell on the welfare of Lady Antonia. I adore Lady Antonia. It is a presumptuous feeling for a puppet to have, to be sure. I have no intention of putting myself forward, of course. However, I cannot watch her die. It's too painful. Thus, I need your unique perspective. You exist somewhere between human and puppet. Can a puppet and a human fall in love? Have you ever met a puppet who loves a human? <sighs> it exists indeed. An unbelievable love to be sure. With a wedding ring as its symbol. I fear even trying to pursue such a splendid happiness. I have no intention of telling her, of course. It wouldn't be proper to burden someone so frail. If I may be frank, this is better than I dared hope. Even if you are telling me a sweet lie, I shall savor it. Thank you. It was wise to confide in you. Thank you for granting me that wisdom. No matter what fate brings us, I will be at Lady Antonia's side. Serving her is my duty, the very reason I was created. Welcome to Hotel Craft. How may I be of service? like you. I sense something strange. Something like the changes you're going through. The sort of thing you'd read in a fairy tale. Go to Geppetto's room. You should see it for yourself.
glad you're here, my son. Have you seen that painting? I can't believe my eyes. It's almost as if something is growing out of the portrait. I remember commissioning that piece from an artist named D. Gray. Like all artists, he was eccentric. He claimed that a painting could harbor a living soul. But how can that happen? Just like the fairy tale. Forgive a foolish man his ramblings. Perhaps the seed of its growth was there all along. I know you're curious, so see for yourself. I have my work to keep me busy. You don't remember much beyond Rosa Isabel Street, do you? Ask me about areas you want to know about. We plan to reveal our new automated puppet technology at the Grand Exhibition. If it hadn't been canceled, it would have shocked the world. The alchemists are there now, working on a cure for the petrification disease. Dare we hope? In my experience, they always have an ulterior motive. Remember to be on your guard when you're with them. The barren swamp was originally vacant, useless land. It became a massive dumping ground when the factory started disposing of puppets. The polluted groundwater spawned strange creatures. Hmm. Perhaps similar to the ones in the cathedral. Definitely worth an investigation. And rumors whisper of rare treasure in a monster's nest. Why don't you go look for it, son? Krat Central Station. Yes, it's where you woke up. There used to be a workshop near the station. However, the puppets destroyed it when they attacked. Many of the puppets have moved on, but now strange monsters lurk nearby. Be careful if you go back. You're precious to me. People call them the Alchemists of the Isle. Their headquarters must be on an island across the sea, but it's not on any charts. I remember tales of an underground dock in Krat where the Alchemists would embark. That's all I know. when you marched off to fight the king. But this, it's a necklace from the Mona Charity House. They took care of orphans and impoverished children from across Krat. Many of those children grew up at the Rose Estate and became alchemists, technicians, and stalkers. I hope the king didn't harm any of them. Or don't tell me. The King's Ergo is actually... Are you okay? You look ill. Ever since I mentioned the necklace. My heavens, you look... a human does. You might just hold the true secret of Ergo. I'll use my power to help you. <laughs> 